Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many R users encounter. Our viewer is trying to download stock data from Yahoo Finance using the QuantMod package, but they're running into a roadblock just days before their group assignment is due. Let's dive into the details of their situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. If you're encountering issues downloading data from Yahoo Finance using the QuantMod package in R, let's first check the code you're using. The error message indicates a 502 bad gateway status. This typically means that the Yahoo Finance server is temporarily unavailable or the URL has changed. To troubleshoot, you can try using an alternative data source or check if the Yahoo Finance API has been updated. One option is to use the get symbols function with a different source. Additionally, ensure that your R and QuantMod package are up to date. You can update the package using the following command. Finally, if the problem persists, consider checking online forums or the QuantMod documentation for any recent changes or issues reported by other users. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble downloading data from Yahoo Finance using QuantMod in R, there's good news. The latest version, 0.49, has fixed this issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble downloading data from Yahoo Finance using QuantMod in R, there's a solution. A user created a function called getsymbols.yahoo.fix to help bypass the download issues. This function allows you to specify the stock symbol, date range, and download directory. To use the function, visit the Yahoo Finance page for the stock, copy the download link, and extract the crumb from the URL. Set your download directory and environment, then call the function with your desired parameters. You can also download data for multiple assets using reply with getsymbols.yahoo.fix. This function is coded for personal use and may not have all the features of the original get symbols function, but it works well for basic needs. This solution was developed on Mac OS X using Safari, but it also works with Chrome, provided you manage your cookies correctly. The user encourages others to try this method for their data needs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble downloading data from Yahoo Finance using QuantMod in R, you're not alone. A user on MRXL forum pointed out that Yahoo has updated their URL to use Unix timecoding for dates.
the new VBA code for constructing the URL includes calculating the start and end dates in Unix time. Here's a quick look at the code. A crucial part of this process is retrieving the crumb field, which contains cookie information from your browser. If you need help with that, check out a helpful post linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble downloading data from Yahoo Finance using QuantMod in R, try using Google Finance instead. The CSV format is slightly different, lacking adjusted prices and having a different date format. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.